Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video I wanted to show you how I created this sort of rock formations using height fields. So I started with the night field and drawing a mask. In this case you can change to the shape you want. Then I'm using a night field layer to mix two masks one slightly more blurred as you can see so we can blur a bit the bottom and i'm setting the height fill layer to maximum then in this volume vop i am just creating a random voronoi pattern that will create different heights at each uh, point and you can change the seed and the uh, minimum value and the maximum value or height and this is done by using a Voronoi the noise and then using a random from the near output just using a random and I'm just adding a value here for the seed and finally fitting the, the range and multiplying by the mask, the current mask. So after that we can use the mask, mask expand but set to the height layer. So we can create these square like shapes. You can change the, the amount. In this case I set it to a quite high value doesn't look much like right now but should have a better shape at the end then I'm blurring a bit and clearing the mask then right here I'm just creating the slope layer masks that we will use later then just clearing and then I'm using a night field noise here set to shabby shab cellular as you can see and then I'm using a distort by layer that will create these random shapes as you can see. Then I'm blurring a bit the height fields and doing another distortion, just a basic distortion, masking the flat areas just a bit more than the flat area so it has some some fall off and then using a noise to distort a bit the tops as you can see using the mask with some blur then I'm clearing the mask and doing again a mask expands set to the eye channel so it creates these bulky shapes as you can see then another distort small distort and converting the height field then i am clipping the the extra parts remeshing as you can see because this sort of geometry won't work well with, uh, with te for texturing or displacement, so we need to remesh it. Then right here I'm applying a triplanar displace, as I have shown in other tutorials. I'm applying two in this case, blurring the normals and doing the displacements. If I enable the subdivide, we should see a better result. So this is the result of the displacements. Just adding the details on the sides that are difficult in a, a 2D, vo 2D volume environment like the height fields. If you don't have some sort of slope, it won't really create details. So then I'm calculating the ambient occlusion. As you can see, this is a result of the ambient occlusion. 
Then I'm doing a point swap to add some color. And the way I'm adding color is by sampling a texture, by right clicking here and choosing sample screen colors. And then you can sample from a texture, in this case I use this one. Just drag the mouse along the texture. Then I'm just, since it's too dark, I'm using a quick material. And that should give us a more normalized output. So yeah, that's basically it. If you want to download the file, feel free to do it on my Patreon. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you and see you in the next one.